Paper of Running Wild. And I'm Sage Candy of VO2 Max Productions. And today we're going to look at our foot strike. So a lot of people when they think of running technique and proper run form, uh, they really analyze the foot strike. And that is a very important component of things which we'll go into in this video, but it's not the end all thing. Uh, but we'll examine some foot strike here in uh, slow motion so you can see exactly what's going on. We're going to examine that different foot strikes might be effective for different people. It's not necessarily one way and that's it. So we're going to explore the different type of foot strikes and what's wrong with some of them and what's good. So one common mistake we see after people read maybe like Born to Run or they look at uh, you know footage of other elite uh, fast runners running or sprinters running is that they, they actually force a toe strike and they're actually really concerned about coming down on their toes and you really don't want to run like that. You don't want to be really up on your tiptoes and hitting your foot down uh, with every strike on your toes unless you are sprinting all out maybe 50 to 100 meters but as a distance runner you definitely don't want to do that. And then on the other side of things, I am actually a natural foot, four foot um, striker. You can ask my dad when I was little, I like always walked on my toes. Um, and I think that naturally kind of translated in my running. But I make sure not to run too far up on my toes because that's gonna lot, cause a lot of tension in other areas of the lower legs. And so you really wanna make sure it's four foot strike, but maybe even towards the middle of your foot. You just don't wanna be too far up on the balls of your feet. Or you don't want to break like this for sure because that's going to cause drawing force coming up your hip and really slow your forward momentum. But I do come down pretty far back on my foot. It's more of a midfoot, and it's it, the important thing is that you're coming down under your center of mass, right under your center of your gravity. So when you go forward, it's okay. So as long as you're coming down, you don't have to be coming down midfoot or on your toes necessarily, but you could come down a little bit on your heel, and maybe you tap off up off your heel when you come forward. The important part is you're coming down mostly flat on your foot, and you're letting your body roll forward. It's a more ener energy efficient stride usually for uh, really long distance runners half marathon marathon ultra marathon and up and maybe that's your tendency to do that and that's what i do uh, but the foot basically comes down flat when you look at it okay so one of the most important things um, besides just how you land on your foot, it's actually minimizing ground contact time. You want to be on the ground for the least amount of time as possible. So you want to make sure you have a foot strike that enforces that. And um, we're going to put a link um, probably up on top that's going to show our secret to how to minimize that ground contact time. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope this helps you. That's definitely my main goal with this. Um, so thanks again for watching. Subscribe if you like it. And until next time, happy trails.